Atia, and it is Thursday, December 23rd, and this is part two of my morning, early morning stream. We were experiencing some popping issues in part one. I checked my phone cord and plugged it back in. Hi, Rhonda. So if you hear a little intermittent popping, it might be my phone cord. Hi, Arlene. Welcome back. Hi, Rhonda. Welcome back. So hopefully by unplugging it and restarting my stream, hopefully it helped it. But if you get a little popping issue, hi, Dee Dee. Um, hopefully we can live with it until the end of my stream. And I'm getting a new phone cord today anyway. Let me come back into my own stream here because I'm still out on the old one, on my tablet. Let me know if you hear it again. You don't hear it yet. Rhonda said she had a little buffer. Hopefully we can get through the morning. Let me zoom in. Welcome, welcome everybody coming in. I've got six of you back in here. Let me know if you hear it. There's nothing I can do about it because I don't have another cord. I could unplug it, but I'm already at 90%. The YouTube gobbles up. YouTube will gobble up the data on the even. So I have to keep my, it'll gobble up my battery is what I'm saying. If I don't have my charger plugged in. That's the one thing about going mobile. <laughs> and Dee Dee, I'm working on finishing up my little dolls. that I'm, My little Dodie dolls. These are going to get mailed out. And so one of them is going to Popo. I think, she, I think she's probably claimed this one. And I dipped their hands in gold paint. <laughs> dipped their hands in gold paint. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, this is, I've got two men and the rest are little ladies. This is Tim Holt's uh, cigar fabric, cigar cover fabric. And I made little, these are called uh, Dotty Dolls or Doty Dolls or Doodle Dolls. You just sew them in little um, shapes. Now, I put arms on mine. But a lot of them don't have arms. But I've been, I did these when I had a doll theme and uh, a doll stream. And I just hadn't got them all finished because it takes a long time. You got to make the tassel and, you know, sew them all together and stuff them and decide what you're going to put on them. And, and I just have two that I'm finishing up. I'd like to get them done this morning. Dodie dolls, Dottie dolls. I think they're called formally called Dottie dolls because uh, the person who started doing them, her name was Dorothy, and they called her Dot. And so I think they're formally called Dottie dolls. But when I first started doing them, I learned them from a, a co-worker in Wisconsin who wasn't. She was. She did a lot of crafting, but she wasn't online. And she was a co-worker, and she introduced me to them. And so I had to start making them, and I made one for her. And it hung in her cubicle for the longest time. But I'd like to finish this up. I don't know if I'll have enough bling to go completely around this, but it'll go almost around. And I'll probably fill it in with something here. And I'm just sewing this little string of bling around her waist. And there's little, little open spaces here where I can put my needle. Oh, it's, it's just one little space, right? Right there. Otherwise, it almost fits. You can hardly tell. Uh. 
So I'm just coming up between those little spaces on this bling. This is that bling that's on a kind of like a little threaded area there. A little string of bling. Anybody hear any popping? No Buffy, Arlene says. Any popping going on out there? Hopefully that resolved it. And I am going to get a new charger. I've been putting it off. Uh, the last two times I took my brother in to get his, to the eye doctor. I said, oh, we need to stop at Verizon so I can get me. I like to buy my chargers at Verizon. And, uh, I, and by the time we got out of there, I was too tired. I said, let's go home. And I did the same thing yesterday. I said, I'll go back tomorrow. So I'm going back. I'm going back today. I got a little bit of shopping. I need to go to the bank and run some errands and everything. So I'm not quite done yet. I don't like to shop. I don't like to shop when my brother walks behind me. He makes me nervous. And he's pretty patient. He's pretty patient, but I know he's got a head that calculates every purchase that I make. I get that bothers me. And he, you know, sometimes when they had uh, the Sizzix die, dies on sale yesterday uh, at Hobby Lobby, they have them every now and then they put those dies on 40% off. And that's when I like to buy my dies. And I wanted the dear ones. And they were on sale, and I found them. They weren't that bad of a price, full price. The deer were only like $16. But, you know, he looks at that little package, and he goes, whoa, $16? And some of those dies go up to like $29. And I don't buy those when he's standing beside me. And I wanted the deer ones, and they were there, and I found them. And yay! Let's see, what can I put on the back here? This little tassel hanging off of her her back. <laughs> if we if we put it up a little, this little where the, what happened to it? Oh, she's holding on to it. Let's let's sew this on. Have to get at it. Well, that may not well, if I sew this on, that'll hang. Let's sew this right here. So that'll help fill up the the space here. So I really just have these two dolls to finish up. And then I want to send them out. I, they probably will not go out till, I don't know, I may wait till after the holiday to send them because, you know, of all the mailing stuff and everything going on out there i mean i've waited this long a little bit longer isn't going to hurt too much i think that's going to hold it and this is the back cover now let's come back in here and come up here and put another little charm or button on her Hi, Rachel. Good morning, Rachel. What did Rachel say? That Dee Dee's lap says, hello, Mary. Merry Christmas, Rhonda and Arlene. Rachel says, Dee Dee, so good to see you again this week. Aw, Becky's here. Good morning, Becky. Becky gets a Dodie doll or Dottie doll or a Doodle doll. Becky was one of the first ones to add to my doll playlist. Let's see. I think I'm going to put this little, this little piece. I'm sure it was meant to have things hanging off of her. But this one reminds me of a little doll. If, it, if I can hold it up here where you guys can see it. It reminds me of a little... Let me stand up. Because I see a skirt and two arms and a head. And, and I'm sure it was meant to hold little beads and stuff, but I'm just going to put it right there on the back cover. 
because she needs something on the back. And I, I, while I'm, while I'm sewing this piece on, I might as well sew this on if I can. And she'll just hang right here on the back cover. Becky is doing her hearts. You have to go look and see what Becky's doing with those hearts. They are just darling. And uh, she's sending them out to people that need a little bit of extra, we love you, encouragement. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get this needle through there, though. It's not that big of an eye for this needle. I might just get it through twice if I'm lucky. Is it going to go through? Yeah, no, just about twice. If I can pull up on it. Come on. Don't fail me now. You're almost through. There you go. And we'll make a knot. Yeah, wants to catch on things. Now, she really does need more back here, but we'll see. This is the back of the doll. I'm going to knot this a little bit more. It won't go through the, the little hole, but I can still knot around it. It catches. Come on, let go of that little lady. That's pretty good. Maybe once more. I just want it to, I want them to stay on there. All right, and then I just tuck my needle down through the, the body of the doll and come out someplace down below so that I hide my thread inside of the doll. And we'll clip that off. Cool. Now here she is on the front. And I did not dip her hands in gold paint. She got missed. We're going to have to dip her hands in gold paint. All these other dolls have their hands dipped in gold paint. So we're going to have to do that after I get her all embellished here. You don't get away without a dip of gold. Now I've got this dangly. This was a, an earring and it's still got the little loop on it and I'm going to see if I can't just bend it around sometimes when I try this it breaks and I know I need a beading plier and I've got them I just don't have them out let's just bend this around and around Come on, bend down. Get a hold of it here. That's pretty good. And we're going to put this bead maybe hanging off of her belt here. We could put it up further, but I think I like it right here. And... I like this, but that's a little long. That'll make a nice necklace, kind of. I wonder if I can put that. Let's try it. Start here and put it around her neck and bring it down. <laughs> Where did the other one go? There's three of them here, aren't there? Yeah, there's two there. 
Nah. Let's put it this way. Where did it go? Put it around her neck. Like that. We could let one dangle in the back. And two dangle in the front. And this is catching on. So let's take this off for a minute. And since that's catching, let's just stitch it on there. Let me go down to the bottom of my chat. Good morning, everybody who's come in. Hi, Renee. Becky came back. Arlene says, since the strokes in 2005, I just don't sleep. But on rare occasions that I do, I wake up not knowing who I am, where I am, if it's a day or night. Oh, Arlene. I do when I wake up. I have to. I have to say, oh, what day is this? And, and, uh. You know, get myself oriented. You know, that's kind of common. Like, and I always say, Lord, thank you for another day. Thank you for giving me one more day. Renee says, good morning. Did Janet UK come in? Hi, Janet Nash. Good morning, Janet Nash. And Laura's here. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to finish embellishing this doll. And I'm going to dip her hands in gold paint. This other one, I think I'm going to save for the next time. She's got her hands dipped. I have to stitch her her lace on. And I've got a piece there that's... Um, I put some glossy accents on some fabric to kind of blunt the edges here. Of this piece. This was a necklace. It's got all these danglies on it. And I'm going to put this across her waist. But I didn't want to do that with those edges. So I kind of blunted those off. I'm going to let that dry a little more. And I'll finish that doll another time. In fact, you know, I'm really at a stopping point. I, I just, I can work so much on this stuff. And I know what I want to do. I want to stitch that on. I want to put this one around her neck. I want to dip her hands. I should probably dip her hands right now. And then these things are things I got to <coughs> to work on. I can do so much to these dolls and I did. I finished I finished putting tassels on these on a couple of these and we're going to get them done and get them mailed out they probably won't go out to early next year anyway for for mailing purposes because <clears throat> it'll probably cost me six or seven dollars to mail them out because they'll go as a package so it'll probably be january when they go out because of my december budget <laughs> oh dear all right, so I am ready to move on to something else. I can do so much of this stuff, and then I've got to move on. Anybody hear any popping out there? Is there any popping out there? Rachel says, I'm sure he will, Arlene. Much like you have learned to, everyone I hear of, someone else having an issue like his, I know he's not the only one. Ah. Hi, Rhonda Lee. No popping. Good. Well, I'm glad that... Uh, I'm going to put this in here. And maybe this one... If, no, that one's pretty well hooked on there. I'm ready to move on with these dolls. We'll finish them up. I, it may take me a bit, but I'll get them done and I'll get them mailed out. All right. We're just going to put these right back on my my clock tray here's my clock tray let me zoom out I hope I didn't mess up the cord there enough to start the popping again all right we'll just put the thread there I'm gonna put these here 
like that. We're going to take my dolls and and I put these over on my desk behind me. And here's some more. Some more stuff I can use. Oh, I got this one to work on, too. Oh, is that the same one? That's the same one. Shoo. <laughs> oh, dear, Mary. Time to move on, Mary. Time to move on. Some embroidery thread. Got this little stamp. Got some fibers over here. This is a tassel. That's going on this lady. I'm going to put it with her. And I got some threads and stuff that I snipped off. I'm going to toss. All right. Let's move on. Oh, we'll put this up here. <sighs> Let me move this. I'll have to clear a spot on my desk. I'm going to open this is the auction hall from Keisha from November. And this has the things I got from when Janet Nash, uh, Janet Nash, Janet Baum. <laughs> Sorry, Janet. Janet Baum sold some things at Keisha's auction. And I wasn't going to go to any December auctions, but... Janet got me here. So, and then I won a giveaway, a really cool giveaway, and I'll show that to you. I think that's probably why she had to send it in a larger priority box. Usually I get my Keisha's auction stuff in, in uh, envelopes. And I'll just pull everything out of this box so that we we can look at it. And I got all the she packed all the little things in here. So we'll look at all of these things that I got. Yay! Oh, the big old playing cards. Lots of little things. Washi tape. Now this is more than one auction. What Keisha does now is if you go to more than one auction, and I think this was the end of November and um, the beginning of December. One more button. <laughs> the big buttons. There's a story behind that. I wanted big. She says, what does anybody want? What are you guys looking for? And I said, I'm looking for big buttons. And she says, I've got big buttons. And, and uh, she was going to let me have my choice. And she got them out and started all showing them all. And... Uh, Everybody else said, I'll take that one, and I'll take that one, and I'll take that one. And I said, wait a minute. They're taking all the pretty ones and leaving me the ugly ones. <laughs> and uh, so they stopped, and I said, just, you know, she says, okay, Mary, what do you want? What do you want? And then I felt bad. <laughs> and uh, so I said, no, just take them and bag them. And she did. I said, just take them and put them in a bag, and I'll buy a bag of them. So... That's what this is. That's what this is here. My bag of buttons. Whoops, and they're all falling out. They're really exactly what I want. They're big buttons. I'm going to have to get another baggie. I got one over there. And then she was selling, she was selling them again. 
And this is a smaller bag of them from another auction. She says, you want buttons, Mary? And I said, yeah, I'll take them. All right, let's see what I have here. Buttons. Buttons, buttons. Who's got the buttons? Mary Alt. All right. I'm going to have to... Hold on a minute. I want to get a baggie for those buttons. It's just sitting out over here, and I gotta get it. I have an empty box so I can put that stuff in. I think. I'm gonna put those things in an empty box. If I can get to my empty boxes. Well. They're smaller, though, but I can put some of those small things in there. Okay, i got to put that behind me, and let me get a baggie. They're right over here. I'll grab two of them in case I need to. All right. This is my auction haul. This is one reason why I'm not going to many auctions this month. <laughs> it's because when I go to these auctions, there's so many cool things. So I have to kind of, yeah. I have to kind of regulate myself here. All right, let's take, and I'm not going to show you all the buttons. I'll just show you the loose ones that are out. I wanted big buttons, and these are exactly what I want. These are exactly what I want. loose buttons here just like that they're big buttons that I said don't give me all the leg ugly ones and sell to everybody else all the pretty ones I was the one who wanted them <laughs> Janet a uh, bomb was in there so she kind of helped she said Mary you can have your choice and I'm going yeah but they're all taking what I wanted <laughs> this one's pretty and then there's a big, so Keisha said, well, what do you want? And I said, just take them, ooh, the bag is split in here. Let's just put them in here. I said, just take them and bag them. And so she did. I'll have to pick up the one that fell on the floor. So I'm happy with my big buttons. And I'm just gonna take, these and put in there too so thank you Keisha for the buttons I felt bad after I put up a fuss but I wanted my buttons I wasn't gonna let everybody take my buttons there's our Lee or Carla I, I was saying Carla and looking at Arlene. Renee, Rhonda, Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Good morning, Sylvia. All right. So there's the button. So I'm going to put that in the box behind me that I got out. And here's a tag that says, Kisha's Creations. You name it, I create it. She has a thank you little thank you seal on that. I'm going to put that in my little book over there and I've got some washi here some cool washi tape um, this says something his part I'm not sure what that is saying there there's some words here. This one might be a Halloween. This is, looks like a map. These are butterflies. These are numbers. I think those are just little pieces. I'm not sure what these are. Looks like there might be Tim Hope stuff in there. Washi tape. I love my washi. This is a 
This is called a crisscross ornament. I think Angie might have made this. I don't, I'm not sure who made this. It's called a crisscross ornament. I'm going to put this out on my little Charlie Brown tree. This is a Christmas ornament. This is going to go out on my Charlie. Oh, it's a little red truck. It's the red truck. This is going to go out on my Charlie Brown tree. Ah, that's cute. I'm going to save that out. There's a button. These are little embellishments. Uh, looks like little beaded. Those of you who know beading, they're like they're little cone shaped. Let's take one out. I'm not sure what these are. Those are, they might just be caps, but they're kind of cone shaped. Can you guys see that? It's kind of cone shaped and then you turn it over, it's like that. It kind of looks like a little curled leaf. I don't know, it's got a hanger there, so it might just be a bead. It might just be a bead, a little metal bead. Of sorts. The one, these could go good on the, the Dodi doll. So I think I'm going to put those on my tray up, up, up over here. Put it on my tray because I need things for my Dodi doll. There's a button. This was a market mystery bag. She gave me a grab bag. Oh, she gave me two of them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I must have overspent. We'll open those later. Let's see. This is the bag for the crisscross ornament. I'm going to put the my little stray things in there. I got some cards. She was selling playing cards. And she taped them up good. I like my playing cards to make ATCs. I'm just going to rip this open. We'll throw that away. So I think these are so pretty on the back here. And then I got the silver teapot ones. I think these are cool. These will make neat dolls. These will make neat ATCs. Becky says, I want to sew for my stash and use it up. Some interesting clothing is coming soon. Becky makes a lot of clothes. I admire that. I don't sew clothes. When I buy fabric, it's for, for uh, ornaments. So these are, these are the same designs. And that, but this one has a different pot here. This one has a more of a teapot, and this is more of a coffee pot. But they're all pewter. And then there's some dark ones and some red ones here. So, yeah, I like the cards. Let's see. Let's take one from each pile. And put in my, I think that's it. We'll put the rest in here in my little hold it all catch all bag. And I'm going to put these in my little scrapbook over here, my scrap holder. For those of you who haven't seen this yet, I read this book. I got this free book. It was a holiday book, uh, a holiday 1225 Christmas Lane. And it was an easy read. And as I read it, I folded the pages. And uh, then I kind of got this idea out of Somerset Magazine. This has been done before, but it's holding all my, my bits and pieces. And I'm going to put these cards in here. If 
I want to make something later, maybe. We'll just stack them in here. And I usually have a bunch of scrap over here on my side of my desk. And what do I have here? It's coming unraveled. And this helps me corral all the, all the scrap. Some scrap needs to be tossed. It helps me corral it. But I also can put things like these cards in there if I want to do a project later. And I got little glue sticks here. Okay. So this is a giveaway. This was one of the giveaways. I must have won it. <laughs> I think this was the one where I said I was the last person and I'll say I'll take what's left. Is that it says giveaway. Oh, it's a shoe with a purse. Oh, it's a cute tag. Isn't that cute? And then there's a fabric piece here. Bow. Put that over there. That's cute. I'll put that in a journal. I'm going to put that in this too because I'll be using that. And there's a pin here. I'm going to put this with my Doty dolls. It's, I think it's, is it broken? It might be a broken pen. No, it hooks. I'll put that on one of those dolls because I'm looking at, for things to put on the dolls. We'll put that on my tray behind me. And here's a fiber. All right, we're getting down to the good stuff here. I'm going to throw these away. We're getting down to the good stuff. Here's another Mary. This this is just fibers here. I'm going to save those out. I think this was the bag that... Was this the bag that's broken? I'm going to throw that away too. The button bag that broke. I got some more washi here. I use washi quite a bit, different colors of washi, and what else, some, oh there's a button, let's put a big button, let's put it in here, I, some of those buttons fell when I was opening them, and this was just an empty card box, I got the red one with the I got this one. I'm glad I got this one. I could put those cards in there. Aren't those pretty? But, man, it has the holes, I suppose. If you pull it out this way and you want to get the cards out, you put your finger in there and poke up on the deck. I think that's what, that, what those holes are for. Congress playing cards. I'm going to keep that out. Here's some stamps, <clears throat> little um, circles, and dream big. Put those behind me. I like the little stamps. Here's some more fiber, purple, and some more fiber. I like the fibers. These are dark purple and dark black it looks like and a maroon color. I do like these a lot. These come in handy. Put them behind me. Now, was this a folded dress paper clip? Was this one that that Janet Baum did? It's a folded dress paper clip. And she's got the paper clip there. She clipped it onto a piece of, I think it's like wallpaper. So that came from Janet Baum. Janet was selling stuff. I have a bunch of fibers here. I, I like these fibers. So I bought a bunch of them. And I'm not going to, I got blue, gray, red. The darker colors. I like to use those. those. Those go good on tassels. Mm -hmm. 
what I did with my scissors. I put them away. Mary Alt in a bag here. I don't know what this is. Yeah, I couldn't resist when I knew Janet was... Oh, it's a stamp. It's a handmade with love stamp. Handmade with love. I don't do very good writing. And so, and there's a lot of curves on this. So I wanted that stamp. I'm not keeping this. Some of this stuff, you just got to make sure there's just nothing else in there. I don't think there is. I think she just put the stamp in there. Sometimes I get foolish. No, it's just the bottom. Of, bottom of the set. We'll throw that away. And these are those little... I must have got two of these. Those little bead cone-shaped things. I'm going to put those behind me. On the tray. And then there were a bunch of miscellaneous stickers that were alphabets and numbers and I thought they, these would be fun for for journaling not to make words but you could even lay them out on a paper and spray over them spray um, there's a number of things you can do with those I'm going to have fun playing with those let's put this, this couple of stray buttons here that fell out in my little baggie here the catch all bag We'll save this one. There's another. Okay, and a bag of lace. Pretty laces. She was selling laces. Let's open it up. Let's look at the laces. Now, I guess I'm going to have to cut it. She taped it shut. I'm going to cut it. She was selling again a couple days ago, but I just, I just couldn't. I bought too much this time. Look at these pretty laces. Blues. I'm not much one for gathered lace, but every now and then I find a use for it. Or I'll cut the gathers off. Here's some black. I think these are all gathery. I'll probably trim them off. This was a flat piece. Isn't that pretty? And look at this. Look at these. Yes. These are what I think I went for. Some bigger applique, lace appliques. Yes. A bunch of them. So, yep, that made me happy. I've got a... a bag of a, a bucket of lace behind me. I'm going to put these in. Put them right in here if I can. All right. Another stray button. And I cut that. So I'm going to toss some of this stuff. All right, we're getting down to the good stuff. This is the little dress embellishment. This is a paper pack that Janet Baum did. And it is the peach dyed. It's dyed a peach color. And she, got, she has a doily and a little embellishment here. I'm going to save this for a moment. Let's get this over this way and she was selling a couple of these big old playing cards couldn't resist this will make a nice journal cover won't it big old playing cards I guess I bought four of them the queen of hearts yep not sure exactly what I'll do with them but I'll be using them This is a Janet Baum little encourage. This is a a corner, a double-sided book 
bookmark tip. You put it on the corner of your journal page and then you can tuck things inside of it. Janet Baum made that. So cute. These are some vellum. These are printed on vellum, these ladies. Some vellum pieces. Can you get, can you guys see those? Am I holding it up wrong? There they go. Because I'm up close here. And here's the bookmark again. I think I might have had that out of frame. The little bookmark again. And you saw the cards. This is another vellum piece. This is ad advertisement printed on vellum. And, yep. This is a Chinese kit. And I, always, I saw this. This is Asian. And I thought... Caboodle! Caboodle time! So I'll be taking some of this stuff out and putting it in my caboodle. Not all of it. Not all of it. Because Rosemary sent me stuff. But I have extra pages that I need things for. And here's another Janet Bomb. These are coffee dyed papers. I want to save these two out. These are coffee dyed. And these are peach dyed. I'll put them on top. Now this, this I won. This I won. This was a giveaway. Or I got it for a dollar, I guess. This wasn't the giveaway. This was only a dollar. I won the, I won the auction for a dollar. And it's, it's a, it's a ledger, and it's got some of the papers in it. And this will make a really neat. It's just the right size for a journal. And I was thinking, I was thinking that Janet's pages could go in here also. And I think they can. So I'll be saving that for a journal. And here's another big playing card. Put those there. This I'm loving. And now this has masking tape on it, it looks like. But I think I'll come along with some carpet tape and some fabric on here. And I might, as I do that, I might split, because this is masking tape. This has been put together with masking tape. And I might split it and expand my spine. Because once I get journaling, you guys see how fat my journals grow. And these are... These are um, ledger paper. Uh, let's see if I can, how she has this. This says careful on it. I think she did this so that it was onion skin, writing on onion skin. And I'm not gonna take it all out. You can, you can see, it's, it's very thin paper. And it's page 384. And it's backwards. Let me smooth this out a little. There. It's backwards, so I can't read it. I'd have to take it out and turn it. And turn it. But I'll probably put that in here, too, because it's the right size. We'll see how that goes. I have some onion skin that I ordered that I ordered when, with Johnny. This is a little bit bigger. I might have to fold that one in half. And I think this was this one. I won this auction, too. This says $2. And this is another ledger, and it's a big, it's a big ledger. It's a tall one, and it's got some papers in it, and then some papers to go in it. So I'll probably be doing art in this one. I'm excited to get this. 
probably have to put this right in there. Yay! So I'll probably be doing art in there. So these were not expensive. This was $2. You know what? This would go really good for Rosemary's. I'll have to see what she sends, but I don't think that she sent a cover. Um, she might have sent some cardboard and some black tissue paper, but this might be good for the Mexican uh, caboodle on here. This might be good for the Mexican caboodle. Or this one I think I'll save for Janet for a different paper. And I'm not sure I'm going to put that ledger paper in there. That vellum paper. So that was my auction haul. Woohoo! Now I did get some more Janet stuff. But I, I, I think I gave away some things. I'd have to look at my invoice. But I got some Janet Baum papers and this. I thought I got more of hers, but I think I might have had them as, as giveaways. So there was my... Oh, then, hold it, we're not done. Let me put this behind me. We got the grab bags. I must have bought enough for two because she sent me two grab bags. Let me get a sip of water and look at chat. Let's see what chat is. Yeah. Those ledger books, uh, I think that one might go for the Mexican caboodle that Rosemary is doing because I don't think that she sent a, she might have sent some cardboard for a cover. I don't know. We'll see what her kit has. But I remember her saying that, oh, and then there's some doorknobs, some little glass knobs here. Some little, these might be Tim Holtz knobs. I'm not sure. These look like they might be Tim Holtz. So these will go behind. And this is, this is going to go out on my Charlie Brown tree. My Charlie Brown tree is full of ornaments with all of those ornaments that I made the other day. The little sweaters and gnomes and everything. My Charlie Brown tree is covered with little handmade ornaments. Let me look at chat. Let me put these out here. All right. Janet Nash says, good morning to Brenda. Carla says, cool ledgers. And they were not expensive. One was $1 and one was $2. <laughs> and you know what? Those type of ledgers are ones that you can play with. And not feel like you're ruining a, a big, beautiful, something big and beautiful. Kimberly says, I never shop online. So Polly ordered me glue sticks, needle threaders, and film for my little Ivy printer. Uh, I'm good to go, Kimberly says. You know, Kimberly, I was looking for a needle threader yesterday in Hobby Lobby. And I guess I'm going to have to go back to Walmart because I was looking for those little wire, you know, they they kind of have that little metal lady embossed metal piece at the top. They're they're just cheapy needle threaders and you get them for a couple dollars. I could not find needle threaders at Hobby Lobby. I looked and looked and looked and finally I found something on the bottom row. I found the I ended up getting beading needle threaders because they've got the wire that you can fit through the the tiny needle holes and that's what I want them for when I do my my needle work my eyes are not good enough to see those little tiny th holes when I do cross stitch and and needle work and that's what I wanted my need because I can see to do this stuff because the eyes are larger but uh, I finally found some little plastic ones that were shaped like a bird and somehow you would move the beak down and put the thread through and loop it i'm not sure i just and i didn't want to buy it because i i was looking at the directions on the back and i was going huh <laughs> so i'm gonna have to go to my walmart's where i get my needle threaders looks like polly <laughs> polly is your hubby right 
ordered me glue sticks, needle threaders, and film for my little ivy printer. She's good to go. Rachel says hello to Brenda D. Arlene says I look forward to see what Mary does with those ledgers. Dee Dee's here. Dee Dee, are you still here? Is anybody hearing any popping out there? Am I still popping? Aunt Beck says she plans to turn all her Janet items into a journal of its own. What a great idea. Well, you know, Janet's items went really fast. And I think I won a couple and I gave them away. I gave them as giveaways um, the, uh, in Keisha's auction. It won't be, they'll be mailed to whoever I, I can't, I know I did at least one and I think I did a couple, but Janet Baum's items went really fast and uh, Janet will probably be doing more. So I'll wait till the second time around, but that's a really great idea is to turn, Becky says she's going to turn Janet's items into a journal of its own. Sue's is here. Sue says she loves the Simplicity Ladies. You know, those Vellum Simplicity Ladies will look really great on that journal that Mitzi sent to me. That Simplicity Journal. I'm not sure what I did to... Here, it's right here. Or this is a McCall's Pattern Journal. Those Vellum pages would look good in here. I want to make a writing journal out of this. Mitzi sent this to me. Thank you, Mitzi. This will make a nice write a letter to you guys. I've been wanting to get started doing that. And maybe I'll start it in January. And just, y'all yeah, won't do a big 10-page letter. I'll just do a little note. Maybe put a little sketch on there. So, those vellum ladies would go good with that. Let's see. Rachel says, I will... Do Kimberly, I sent her a message at least once a week. It's been a while not. Thank you, Dee Dee. Who are we talking about? Uh, Tori. Tori. Um, was that attache papers? Well, which Tori was that? I remember, I, I get, I think. Tina was attache papers, though. They're, Kimberly and Rachel are talking about a couple ladies. And we got a bot in here. Thank you, uh, Arlene. Kimberly says, I've been on a Santa diet. Cookies and eggnog. <laughs> I haven't made my toffee yet. I've been so busy, and I'm going to be gone this afternoon again. i got to go to the bank and take care of my monthly bills. I did most of my shopping at Hobby Lobby yesterday, but I need to go to Verizon and get me a new phone charger. And uh, I'm going to see if I can't take advantage of their... I'll let you guys know. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to talk about it until... One of their offers that they have out there is interesting me. So, but I'm not sure they'll let me do what I need to do. Um, when I got this tablet, I got a second phone line. You had to get the second phone line to get the tablet. And I've had this tablet for a couple years now. I think it's probably been paid for. Well, it was free, but, you know, you probably have to keep it for a couple years before you, they say... You know, and I'm going, I really don't need that second phone line anymore because I can take this tablet and hook it up to my Wi-Fi without the second phone line, I think. And then I'm wanting to upgrade to something else, but I'm not going to. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what they offer. I'm not sure they'll let me do that, but. Let's see. Becky, don't worry about the elephant. I saw one walk through my place the other day, too. I think it was on Christmas, 2021 20, Christmas thing. Becky said, I see an elephant. <laughs> I think she was talking about my auction hall here. <laughs> oh, dear. Toy oh, the Artful Dabbler. Yes. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, of course, she's been in here. I haven't seen her for a while either. Thank you, guys. 
Yeah, let me know if you get a hold of her. Usually, though, you know, Becky and I have found out if we start saying we miss somebody, like we were missing Azure and Linda McAllister. Linda McAllister showed up in one of my streams uh, shortly after. And who else was it? Um, Joyce Boring. We say, we haven't seen these folks for a while, and then the next couple of days they show up. So maybe she'll show up in one of our streams now that we've mentioned her name. What is, Sue says, yes, they would. Mary, when you get to the second round of Keisha's stash, make sure Big Brother is not watching. <laughs> I, do, I, had, I did not order any more from Keisha. I wanted to go to her auction the other night, but I just couldn't because uh, I knew this was coming. Uh, and I wasn't going to go to this auction, but Janet was selling stuff. So when Janet was there, I had to go. I had to go, and this is the result. This is my Christmas from me to me. Somebody, well, I've gotten plenty of Christmas. I don't have any, you know, my goodness, Annie V and Norma and Mitzi and, and Kimberly. You guys all sent me boxes. Mary too sent me a box. I got, and then I got all these cards and goodies. My goodness, I've had Christmas for the last couple weeks. But this is my Christmas for me to be. <laughs> well, like I need any more Christmas. Uh -uh. This, you guys have made my Christmas really a merry one, a bright one this year. You you always do. All right, let's. right, these are the grab bags. And I must have purchased enough to get two because she sent me two. And they look alike. And you know what? I like these little bags. I like them to put stuff in. And then I can hang them up, get a little hook and hang them up. And I'll probably have to put a tag of what's in them, though. <laughs> um, I used to get little bags like this from uh, at uh, the Defy auction. She used to sit, have baggies. And I used to hang a lot of her that stuff in her baggies. That, But let's see what's in the grab bags. Uh, I did not order these. These were, these were grab bags. that, Or she might have just been generous and sent me two. I don't know. Keisha does. Keisha does Keisha. Keisha does Keisha. You name it, I create it. I've got another one of these. I'll put it in my my tag, my scrapbook here. My scrapbook over to the side. All right, let's see what's in this. This is a market mystery grab bag. Let's save that. We'll put that on the back. Of, we'll put these on the back of my tags here. Let's take these off and put them on here. So that'll remind me I got a grab bag. All right, let's see what's in the grab bags. Oh, oh look at this trim. This is little fabric, little road fabric trim, ribbon and trim. There might be, it says ribbon and trim, but I don't think this has been opened. A ladybug. I got a ladybug. Let's see what else is in here. Some ladybirds, but they're, oh, we got a little gingerbread boy. We'll keep him out. These are ladybugs. She calls them ladybirds, or they did. Some little tags and journal spots. Put that in my, <laughs> my... My book is getting full over here. Is that it? Sometimes stuff gets stuck down. Got a little snowflake. We'll save that out for Christmas. Some tiny washi tape. Little, It's gold with white dots. And some of this, I love this. This is going in the box behind me. A little Christmas tree. The ladybirds. I'm going to put these over here too. <laughs> My book is filled. And some fabrics. 
fabric swatch fabric. This will make a nice art journal. Put a piece on the back of this. Leave this on here. And just put a piece here. And I think, though, I would make a mini one. I could just fold it like that and make a middle mini art journal. We'll see. I'm not going to do anything with it now because I've got so many projects going. Some napkins. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a big, huge, looks like a table, almost like a table. I think it is a napkin, though. That's a big, huge one. And it feels, it's a napkin, but it feels, uh, feels different. It's pretty thick. Some, some, uh, plant identification. Wax ivy, looks like it came out of a book. Wax ivy, it gives the origin, the family. Flowering, light, watering, soil, that type of thing on the back. And a Rolodex, a couple of Rolodex cards, and a couple of flash cards. I love my flash cards. Let's put the flash cards in the, in the book. I'm going to have to use from this book here pretty soon. The Rolodex cards, I'll put them in the book too. <laughs> my book is getting thick. These... These are staying out. This I'm going to put in my washi drawer. This I'm going to put in the box behind me. I think I've got another one of these from another auction. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I want to do with that. These I'm going to put in the box behind me. All right, let's see what's in this one. We're going to keep the ladybug out. Let's see what's in this freebie. These are freebies. Thank you, Keisha. Well, ooh, ribbons. Ooh, this is cool. Ooh, that'll go back with my laces. Put that in that bucket that I have behind me. Ooh, Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. She, she has stuffed these bags. All right, some more Rolodex cards. We'll put those in here. I think those will fit my Rolodex. Some little die cuts. It says anniversary. Looks like a couple of doilies, some butterflies. A little heart that says always. Oh, that gives me an idea to use on that heart. But we're doing a heart project with Becky. Let me go down to the bottom of my chat here. Oh, this will go out on my Charlie Brown tree, a glittery star. We'll put that with this. These will go out on my Charlie Brown tree. Oh, some bling. I've been wanting bling. Got some bling. I'm keeping that out. Some floss. That's good to have. Oh. Some more little tidbits here. I see a Christmas. There's a snowflake. Some pumpkin. Oh no, these are ladybugs. Well, this is a pumpkin. This is another ladybug. We'll keep the ladybug out. And we'll keep the snowflake out. We've got a snowflake. And another Christmas tree. These are like little felt stickers. This is a pumpkin. Halloween's over. Got a little anchor button in here. We'll put this in the tray behind me. This might work on one of those dolls. Let me put it on the tray. What else is in here? Did <laughs> she take it out? Another little gingerbread man. Gingerbread boy. We'll keep him. <laughs> this looks like a Grinch eraser. <laughs> Grinch. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. He's a Christmas, but I don't know if I could poke a hole in there with my owl and hang him. 
Oh, it's Rudolph. Oh, it says Rudolph Red-Nosed Reindeer on the back. But this looks like the Grinch to me. I think that's the Grinch. That's not Rudolph. I think that's the Grinch. This says Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. It must be, oh, the club. The club is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Club. And got some more here. These are spiders. These look like spiders. I'm not sure they are, what they are. And a little ghosty, a little, looks like a whale, a fish whale, and another pretty button that could go on one of those doodle dolls. And a little bling here. I'm going to put these on the tray behind me. I think I'll put all these on the tray behind me. I'm not so sure about the pumpkin. I'll put it in the box. Put those on that tray. Because I'm looking for little bits to put on those dolls. Oh, there's more. We'll save that out. Got some twine ribbon. Love your bunches. That's... This, these kind of inspire me for the heart, for the heart project that we're doing with Becky. Oh, and here's another heart that says love. Becky did hers on muslin, but I might do similar on muslin. We'll see. And a little card that says thank you. Card. We'll put that in my scrap stash. Oh, look at these. They're cut in, I'm sure they're supposed to be like petals, but they remind me of dolls. <laughs> they remind me of dolls. All I need is a head. Pretend that's a head and some arms. I'm sure this is petals for some sort of a quilt. But no, they remind me of dolls. I'm going to put that. Here's another journal cover. Mary says this will make a nice little mini journal cover. Put a piece of paper across there. And a napkin that says I am brave. Very cool. Very, very cool. So that is the end of the freebies. Let's see, let's keep those in there. And these here. These are going in the box behind me. And. Okay, I'm going to have to step over that box when I get out. And some thread. Some ribbon thread. Woo! So, I'm going to do something with these, but not this morning. These are little Christmassy stuff. So, I have, today's the 23rd. We got the 24th and the 25th. And, you know, Christmas really starts on the 26th, doesn't it? The first day of Christmas, I think it's on the 26th. Or is, it on, or is it the 25th? And it goes through January 6th. Now, I don't think I have enough pages in here to take me to January 6th. This is my December daily. These are going to go out. Uh, let me put these over here. And I did put this tie on here yesterday to help close it. Because it's getting thick. It's getting thick. And... Mina sent me that little green uh, uh, this stick. I think that stuck because of I put glossy accent on this. Yeah, right there it stuck. Where did that tear from? I think that tore off of the card. But it's still good. It's It's good. It's okay. I'm okay with it. This is a whole bunch of cards that you guys sent me. Thank you guys so much. But see now, I put that double-sided tape 
here and it's already breaking it's already breaking out uh, I did put those in with bobby pins well I only have one in there and it's held in with the bobby pin but I was uh, that double sided tape that Dollar Tree I don't know if the other tape would hold it but if you just put a piece here and a piece there and if you put something bulky in there it will eventually break out if you don't glue that down but I, this is held down by a bobby pin, so I'm not going to worry about it. This is the card that re resent sent, and I put it in accordion style. Isn't that beautiful? It, it opens here. Oh, did I get the cluster? Uh, hold it. I think I put the cluster on it. Let me get the cluster off of it. I'll get it out from behind the cluster. What did you do, Mary? This is Mary's style of journaling. Yeah. I didn't realize that I had that in there. Let me turn this. I need it. This is Mary's style of journaling. Distress. Distress. Oh, come on. There. Not too bad. That was the envelope. That wasn't on the card. That was on the... I have this as an envelope. And I put that envelope on the back of this card. That was an envelope that was stuck in there. So I didn't destroy the card. I, I distressed the envelope a little. And let's just leave that for now. <laughs> but it, the card, it's really a beautiful card. It, it accordions out. It's really pretty. Let's tuck that back in. Maybe I'll use that as a tuck. That holds it. I'll use that as a tuck. But we're ready for... That's day 25. We've got 24, 23, 22. Oh, wait, that's 19. This is 20, 21. I skipped some pages because I got them paper clipped together here. Or bobby pinned. There. I need to do something on this page. I knew I had a blank page. 21, 22, page 23. And I'm thinking Arlene did those ugly sweaters. Now she pieced hers together with paper. I think I am going to draw and paint some ugly sweaters on this page. Because I did, I did another painted page over here. I did the cinnamon birds here. And I really like how that turned out. I just drew those cinnamon birds, and so what I'm going to do is draw some ugly sweaters. Let's look at chat. <sighs> Rachel says, Arlene, see what I mean? Others could just see a cover cap. An artist's mind is a lovely place to get lost in. Rachel, the top hat of my, my frog is a cover cap for a semi-intake valve. Rachel says, Brenda, my nieces are always, are now in their 30s. Brenda, my nieces are now in their 30s, but I did not send them bags one year, thinking that they had outgrown them, and both of them said they missed them. I made them a birthday doll that year to catch up. Aww, Rachel, that's so sweet. Arlene said, uh, well, Rachel says, any ideas I have are free for the taking. I'm sure that they will love them that way, Brenda. And Arlene said, things are whatever we want them to be. Brenda said, if you do not mind, I'd like to use the idea for my granddaughter. She loves dolls. Rachel must have given a good doll idea. Sue says, the heart reminds me I finally received my cutout zine. Oh, you did. 
You did, Suze. I finally sent you your, your zine that was cut out. Yeah. I have some more things, Suze, if you're listening out there, to send you. I just didn't get it all in that box. I have some more things. You'll be getting some more from me. I have some... You wanted some of that Tim Holtz floral fabric? And I still have that. And I know you asked for some of it. So I'm going to send you some. And uh, I think you asked for a couple of other things. I think there was some printed uh, wallpaper that I had and some other things that you wanted. But I wanted to get that Asian fabric out to you. So I just threw what I could put my hands on in that box. And that little zine. <laughs> it was there. It was there. Uh, let's see. Rachel says, Mary, I make little gift dolls from those gift bags for my nieces every year. Oh, really? I got the idea because they look like dresses for a fancy dress ball. Oh, the little gift bags that have the drawstring, you make little dolls out of them. How cool is that? And I think Brenda's going to steal that idea. And Rachel says, steal away. Janet Nash is sending love out to Tori and Joyce. I think she means Joyce Boring. Arlene dropped a link to Dee Dee's channel. Becky dropped a link. Was that to your... Oh, no. Oh, not Becky. Arlene dropped a link to Becky's channel and to Ann Lars channel. I'm just scrolling back in chat. Arlene says, it was over a year ago that Joyce told me she was backing away from the internet. I do believe she meant it. Joyce was in um, one of Aunt Beck's impromptu a sun catcher chat, I think. Uh, Aunt Beck did a sun catcher chat and Joyce Boring was there. There weren't very many people because it was impromptu. And <clears throat> I think Joyce was there. We got to, to kind of chat. Oh, is she in here now? Did Joyce pop in? Am I missing her? Wait. Tori is the artful dabbler. It says Joyce. Where did I see that? Joyce. Carla says she misses Linda McAllister. Oh, there Sue says Joyce Boring seems like a year. Tori's been sick for a while, Arlene says, but she usually responds when messaged. I hope she's okay. So we're missing Tori and Joyce and Linda McAllister. Who else are we missing out there? That we said if you name them, we'll shout their names out. And maybe they'll hear us. I think Tori was the one who, who started that. Janet makes beautiful items, Brenda says. Yes, she does. There's no popping, Rachel said. Yeah, we had some popping earlier, Rachel. I had to restart my stream. Uh, Dee Dee was in here, and she said she, she thought it was the phone cord. And m my charger that I'm using is a short cord because my one that had the long cord I need a new charger, and I was going to get that today anyway. All right, let me come down to the bottom of chat. There's Tina. Hi, Tina. Good morning, Tina. Good to see you. Happy holiday. Janet Nash is here. She says, Rachel, I think Flo would like a doll like that. I'll save a bag for you. That's a great idea. Uh, Rachel was saying that she makes dolls out of those little market bags for... Did you say your daughters, Rachel, and that you thought they'd outgrown them and they both missed them? Rachel says, so lovely to see you, Tina. Wishing you and Pat, the rest of the family, a very good and happy Christmas. Carla says, what did I do? What did you do, Carla? I didn't see you do anything. Oh. I think. I didn't see you do anything, Carla. I, 
I, th I think it was probably a mistake. Oh, Angie. Carla, you deleted Angie. Be right back. Oh. That's okay. It's okay. Angie will come back in. She understands. Sometimes chat, when it's flowing and people are chatting. Yeah, it's not a biggie, Carla. You're fine. Uh, when the I do that too. Sometimes when the chat is scrolling by and you want to hit one name, and by the time your finger gets down to the screen, it's popped up, and sometimes you hit the wrong person. I do that a lot. Angie understands. <laughs> Angie pops in and out anyway. She she'll be back. We'll apologize big time to her. She might be out there listening. You know, when you delete them like that, I think they can still hear chat. All right, let's draw some. Let's draw some ugly sweaters on here. Just a couple ugly sweaters, and I'm gonna paint them. So let's see. Let's draw one that looks like so. And you know what? I I have a long sleeve T-shirt on today. But let's see. Let's kind of make the. Let's make a raggedy cuff here. And I don't know. Shall we put a big old cowl? Don't they call these cowl necks when they have the the big old collar on them? Big old button here. And Let's give it a cuff. Of course, we're going to make it Christmassy. And kind of, you know, stretched out at the bottom. <laughs> and let's see. I'm not going to decorate it too much until I paint it. But let's see. What can I put on it? Uh Let's put let's be put a big old Christmas tree on it. Make it look Christmassy. And we'll just put a uh this will be snow. And let's put some stars over here. And another one here. Now, ugly sweaters aren't necessarily, they're just something that you would not normally wear every day. They're not necessarily ugly, they're just out of the daily stream of things. And let's put some fringe down here, just uh <laughs> Like it looked like maybe they took a, made a sweater out of a coverlet or something. That looks pretty out of the everyday sweater that I would wear. Although I like to get my stuff at the thrift store because especially when I wear it in here. Okay, let's put a, let's put a star up here. And let's put some bulbs on there. And maybe a candy cane. All right, we'll paint that. That's one ugly sweater. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to put the word... in here to help take up space. This is just a fun page. This is a fun page in my, and when you do these December dailies, if you don't have family or anything like that, just have fun, do Christmas. Like this is wrapping paper. This is a book that I read. These are cards from, most of them come from a card swap. Participate in a swap. These are my cinnamon bird ornaments that I, drew this was just a this was a pick 10 page 
and I made a shadow box. And I'm thinking that I want more of a shadow. I want these boxes to show a little bit better, but we're not going to mess with that. So your, your December daily does not have to have photos, family photos in it, just because everybody else's does, you know. This this was a cross stitch magazine pattern. This was a bird that I got out of, uh, I think, a book that Arlene sent me. I love that card, no? And it says, "May all your dreams in this splendid hour reach fulfillment, and may all the paths you walk be lighted with peace, not only today but in all the days of the years to come. May you know joy." So you can do things like that, and I used the spirit of cross stitch magazine and I'm going to put this was an envelope that was sent to me I don't know who sent this to me but that's going to go there and then this was the front of page on this in this book see this image is the same as that and then I tore out a little documentation it says when Christmas time draws near Hearts fill with gladness as people everywhere come together to share the joy of the season. The spirit of love inspired by the one whose birth we celebrate encourages us to put a little of ourselves into every aspect of the holidays. So you can just get documentation from books and from magazines. And, and this was a cover of our Rural Electric Association, they've got a windmill. And you see a lot of these old windmills out in the country. You see less and less of them, but they're still out there. And uh, I, this just reminds me of Nebraska, a Nebraska winter. So I put that in there. I haven't put anything on it because I don't want to destroy the windmill. And this was a fuzzy, fuzzy sock open collab that Susan Hiles had. And I had some... Dollar General Santa Claus socks, and I just glued them in there. They add a lot of bulk to this journal. And that I got from Nina. This is my little Nutcracker ATC. He talks. And then more cards and cards from the swap. And that's one way to get cards if you don't get very many cards. And if you notice, a lot of these cards are not handmade, and they still bring joy. This one's handmade, and this one is handmade, but... But uh, if you are missing the Christmas cards, you can get a lot just by joining the swap. All right. Or paint ugly sweaters. Ugly. Where am I going to write this down here? Maybe S. Bring that up a little bit more. This is going to be painted. S W. E A T E Oh, my E is running short here. R. We'll make a big R. <coughs> so, the ugly sweaters stem from... Didn't they have a contest out there someplace on one of the channels? Um... TV channels, television channels. This one looks like it's cracking a little there to me. I'm not sure what's going on on that page. And isn't that where the ugly sweaters came from? I'm not sure where, who originated ugly sweaters. But usually around the holiday, they break out the ugly sweaters. And we're going to put a patch on this one. This will be the back elbow patches. On this one and this is a cuff and that's a cuff so this is the back I don't know if anything ever goes on the back of an ugly sweater let's put a big old and I think I'll just leave it like that because that's the back now we have room for another one here. And let's make it a a rolled neck here. Like so. And we'll we'll make the arm come out this way. 
and we'll make it come like that. And so we'll put a big old ornament on this one. <laughs> Hang an ornament. And maybe some rickrack. Wrap down here. Like that, and we'll end it with a something like that. This is just fun. It's more like a doodling doodle and I don't know what, this seems pretty plain. I want the elbow patches. You don't put elbow patches on, on the front of a sweater. <laughs> so I guess I'll just leave it plain and just put some knit lines in there. Something like that. And we'll put a collar on it like that that's ugly enough and let's do this now I'm gonna paint these what time is it it's 727 today is Thursday and Lar usually opens her craft and chat room on Facebook and if you're out there um, I may not be able to attend because I have to go pay bills and I have to do things that I didn't take time to do yesterday because my brother was with me and he was tired and I was kind of tired. Okay, let's paint the background first. We're going to paint this. Boy, I'm warm in here. Let's get some... Mary has to be an adult today. Yeah, got to be an adult. It's hard. I'm an adult who makes a lot of mistakes. All right, these are my 23 and 24. I don't want to lose these. I'm going to put them over here. Put it in. Now, I'm going to lose them. I don't want to put them there. I'm going to lose them if I don't find a safe spot for them. I glued that one shut. I stapled them shut. Let's put it right in here. All right. Hopefully those will stay. I'm going to do ugly sweater day. And my paint will roll them down on that. Let's see. I think I'm going to put my paint up here at the top. Because I know my paint will not stay on there. I'm going to turn this a little this way. Get my scissors out of the way. And... I don't need my okie dokie. Don't need my water. I didn't make tea this morning. All right. That's a little too much slanted. I'm going to paint my background. This is red. Maybe I'll paint it green. I'm not into green that much. Let's do the, or I could do this bimini blue, which is kind of a turquoise color. We'll do that. And let's get a brush. That's a fan brush. Where is that thread coming from? 
one do I have here? Oh, it's hooked on to this wax paper. I don't know. This thread, there must be a spool of thread in there someplace that's losing its thread. Let's get a paintbrush. Uh, a flat one. And maybe a little smaller one. And let's do the Bimini Blue first. Just for fun, this is a for fun page. I'm going to use this flat brush. Oh, Lori! They didn't mean it. And these gals have been fighting the bots all morning. So if you get in the way, it's it's unintentional. Good morning, Lori. If you're out there, they unhid you. Arlene says, I fixed it, I fixed it. <laughs> Good morning, Lori. Lori is gonna be participating in our streamathon. Lori, I hope you're good with an hour an hour. Lori is She's kind of filling in a gap for me. I had a gap of an hour, and she filled it in for me. I asked her if she was okay with it. And at the time I asked it, she said she was. But we got in some hour ones. We got some hour and a half ones. But most of them are two hours. Hi, Elise. You like the ugly sweaters? Thank you, Elise. <laughs> It's just something fun to do. Uh, you know, sometimes it's fun not to... I got wax paper on the, on the inside of this, so we're good. That ribbon is behind the wax paper. Sometimes it's fun just to do a, a goofy page. Uh, a page that's just kind of lighthearted. And ugly sweaters are lighthearted. I think they started those in the offices, didn't they? I'm not sure where the ugly sweater... Does anybody know where the ugly sweater movement started? Who started that? Ugly sweaters. I was thinking it started on some weather channel. Some TV channel weather people wore ugly sweaters. But I could be wrong. Does anybody out there have trivia of who started ugly sweater day? Rhonda said, I said good morning to Lori, then I promptly hit her. <laughs> Aww. Rhonda, you have been you have been wielding that wrench all morning, so we certainly understand. Rhonda has been both Rhonda and Arlene have been wielding their wrenches this morning. Knocking the old bots to bot heaven. And say, you don't belong in here. Get out of here. Leave us alone. Yeah, Dee Dee said that all the streams. Somebody, was it you, Rhonda, that said you were in a stream last night? And... They were really bad. Was that you, Rhonda? I think it was earlier. Becky said they were first known as Jingle Bell sweaters. Oh, really? That's interesting. They were first known as Jingle Bell sweaters and featured discreet Christmas-themed decorations. Oh, really? Jingle Bells? I don't have any Jingle Bells. Oh, I got us. Maybe I can find some. I have Jingle Bells someplace. I have to get out my inventory book. <clears throat> I'm going to to um, Dollar Tree today. Maybe I can get some Jingle Bells. Maybe there's some left. I'll see what kind of Christmas decorations are left on the shelf. I'll bet there's not much. That's an interesting factoid, Becky. Thank you for sharing that. 
jingle bell sweaters, discreet Christmas decorations, and then they became Ugly Sweater Day. The original Ugly Sweater Day, Tina says, were never intended to be ugly. They were actually pretty artistic and joyful. Oh, really? See, that's interesting. And so somebody started wearing, somebody had to change it up and got joy out of an ugly sweater. That's an interesting factoid. Ugly sweater day. Well, my, my, uh, the things that I wear in here when I stream, I get at the thrift store because I splatter paint, I spill paint, I get it on my sleeves, I get it on the front of my sweater, and I have ruined enough that I said, no, I don't mind paying three dollars for something that I don't mind messing up but you know i get some nice things at the thrift store i get some i get some that i wear for when i go shopping and that type of thing i guess you could say casual but it isn't anything i want to spill paint on i get some nice things at that thrift store it's a catholic thrift store run by the Catholic Church. I really do like it. I hope that they never close. That's the one where I went right before Thanksgiving and the door was unlocked. I told you guys that story. The door was unlocked and there were people going in and looking around and nobody was there to help us. The cash register was open and Finally, I called the police. I I looked for a phone number of a manager, but there was no phone number at the desk where I could call. Well, there was one phone number, but when I called, it was like dial one to get so-and-so, dial two, or enter your extension. And I didn't know any extensions, so I called the police and I said, this door is open, but there's no clerk here, and we've been here for... I was there for about 45 minutes. Finally, I called the police and I said, somebody better call somebody. <laughs> and they came down. I, I waited for a bit and the police came. I didn't feel unsafe. You know, it could have been a little bit unsafe to go in there and stay. But I didn't feel like I was in any danger. Not that I might have been if there was somebody in there doing bad stuff but uh yeah that was right before thanksgiving and i've been back there once since then and they had a different clerk there so i'm just wondering if the other clerk just was not kept on or something i don't know i didn't ask But I do like that thrift store. I get a lot of... The last time I went, I got another bag of ties. Of silk ties. Now we're going to paint around these letters here. This is a G. Oops, I painted the... Well, when I do the... I think I'll put my lettering in red. I need to put the little <clears throat> top part of the G on there. This is a G here. A small G. I painted the little serif out. Oh, I should probably do this first. The 
this is kind of fun. Just doodle some ugly sweaters. Arlene posted one. I think if you are on Instagram, I think Arlene posts on Instagram too. She posted in Facebook her ugly sweater that she made. It was so cute. You've inspired this page, Arlene. Let me go down to the bottom of chat here. Whoops. Live chat. Top chat. Thank you, Arlene, for twirling your wrench. Hi, Cheryl. Rachel says, Cheryl, you have morning finger. Cheryl says, my... <laughs> She's got to get some coffee, she says. <laughs> oh, I'm missing my coffee. I didn't make coffee this morning. I got up too late. Let's see if I can get sweater out of here. I'll be painting it red anyway, but. I'm using a flat brush that's kind of angled, so it helps me get around these smaller letters. This craft paint dries pretty fast. I'll probably need more paint than that. I like this bimini blue. It's a pretty color. This is bimini blue. It's kind of a turquoise blue. So ugly sweaters were not meant to be ugly originally. And then I think they started having fun with them. Like, where did you get that ugly sweater? It's supposed to be pretty. Go home and change. <laughs> I went home and changed and came back the next day with one that was even uglier. I don't know. I'm just talking. <laughs> Arlene said they are viewer bots meant to boost viewer count but if there's a bot in chat when YouTube scans it is considered cheating on the count and YouTube pulls monetization from the for the video really I didn't know that Arlene well that's not fair for us of those of us who don't use bots why are they coming in here and boosting my count? I didn't ask them to do that. Go away. I didn't know that, Arlene. There should be a way that we should be able to to uh, not allow... I mean, there should be a, a, a host control when I start this stream... That I can not allow bots. Because I don't use... Some people use legitimate bots to, you know, control. But I have moderators to do that. You know, to add information and stuff like that. I don't need a bot 
I don't want to boost my... Well, I want you guys to boost my viewer count, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to get in there and... Cheat YouTube. I don't want to cheat you, YouTube. I should be able to say no bots allowed when I start the stream. And YouTube would be able to recognize them if they can if they know that there are bots and blocking demonetizing a video because of bots. They must know that there are bots. So they must have a way to recognize them. So they could just they could have a a control out there that we could set that would recognize a bot if it came in and block it automatically without the mods having to do all of that. The mods should be able to enjoy the stream. All right, I think I'm pretty good with that. Uh, I'm just going to use up what paint I have in here just to kind of go over what I've done here in the background. Just use up my paint. Alrighty, I'm pretty happy with that. Ugly sweaters! Alright, I see some red sweaters. Um, maybe a green one. Let me get a paper towel. The only way for a streamer to prevent them is to make chat subscriber only. But that prevents new people. Yeah, I would not want to do a subscriber only unless I was doing a giveaway, a, a big giveaway. You know, like some people have really nice things that they give away. Doing a little ATC or a tag or something like that. I would not make that subscriber only. But, uh, uh, or if I was doing something like teaching a special class or even then, I don't know if I would want to not allow new people. Uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting point. All right, I'm going to paint the... Let's paint the background on one of these red. Well, I'm going to... I'm deciding whether I want red letters. Let's paint the background here green. Let's go for green. Let's see, this is... Hmm, I gotta find a green. There's an Irish moss. I thought I had a Christmas green here. A holly green. I do. Holly green. We're gonna paint one of these green. And let's see, what other colors? I'm gonna think I'm gonna make the letters red. Let's make it a alizarin crimson. And we'll have to have some yellow. This is king's gold. That's about empty. This is golden straw. We'll make that bulb yellow. Or we can make the bulb red. Let's see. I'm looking for colors. Uh, let's do a, that one's not open. Let's do a Prussian blue, uh, dark blue background on one of these. All right, let's, let's start with the green. You love Irish moss? Wait, I put that back. I put the Irish moss back and got out the holly green, Lori. <laughs> or do you love real moss? Or do you love the color of Irish moss? Let's see. What shall I paint green? I think, well, that's got a Christmas tree, though. Let's paint the back of the sweater green.
and it's going to have a patch on it. And you know what? I'm going to come back in with some blue over here. And I probably should have shaken that up a little. I'm going to add some of that blue to this. See if I can. The Deco Art paints are a little thinner. This is the back of a sweater. And we could just make the sleeves green. I think. And maybe we'll make the inside stripe green in here. there and this sleeve gets green Ozzy is a whole weirdness on his own Rachel says I love his music though it's bright for Christmas. It's one of my favorite I use to highlight sometimes. The moss green. So you're talking about the paint. I'm not using moss green. I'm using holly green. I put the moss green back. I should have kept it. Maybe I can make my stripes a moss green. Because it's a... Let's see if I can. We'll make my stripes here a moss green. I'll get it out again. Uh, let me finish the sleeves here. And the collar, we're going to make, let's see, let me think. Yeah, okay. let's get out the moss green. The collar and the cuffs and the border, we're going to make red. Let's get that moss green out. Lori likes it. Where did I put it? That's leaf green. I'm looking, Lori. Got new shamrock. I don't know what I did with it. I put it back. I said, that's my screen, and I put it back. And I keep pulling out the blues. What did I do with my... Yeah, I'm not in my... Here it is. It's Irish moss. It's Irish moss. Irish moss. We're going to use some of it, just because Lori likes it. It is a pretty color of green. We're going to make these stripes green. Well, the inside stripes. You'll see what I mean. Uh, maybe these. I don't know if that will make a, a difference in there or not, but we'll see. Let's just paint all of these just like this so I can get it done. Just like that. And then I'll come back with my darker green. All right, there's my towel. What did I do with it? I get another one out, I guess. I don't know what I do with stuff. It's here somewhere. Might have tossed it already. Let's dry that a little with my heat gun. There's an elephant in the room, Becky. It's behind me. 
I got out that Peaches Peggy and Becky said, I see an elephant. I had a whole stack of stuff. Actually, there really wasn't. There are a lot of little things. And the bigger things, the bulky things, like those ledgers, they weren't that expensive. Those ledgers only cost me $2. I got a bargain on those. Let's get out that dark green again. I'm running out. Finally, in the green chair, Cheryl says, it must be the color of her chair. Oh, let's paint this. Stripes in here are darker green. And then the border and the collar is going to be red. And the, this is the back of a sweater. Because that's those are elbow patches. This really needs to be a darker green yet. But we're going to go with it. We're going to go with I'm not sure you guys are seeing that light green in there. I can see it. You may see it a little. All right. Let's do some red for the collar and the... This is the back of a sweater here. It doesn't have much decoration on it. Let's go with this alizarin crimson. It's not a bright red. It's more of a bluish red, I think. Kind of a pretty red, though. Let's go with it and see what I have. It's kind of a bluish red. It's got a blue, cool tone to it. And I think I'll make that top part a light green again, that that moss, iris moss in there. And we'll make this red. And this red. And the cuffs are red. And the border. I kind of like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a fun page. Oh, let's grab some more of this Irish moss and put up here. My brush is wet. I don't like a wet brush. It thins my paint down. There, I kind of like that. Let's see if I can't lighten these up a little. And we'll go back over it with my black pen after it's all dry and put in the knit lines. There we go. I'm liking that. Okay, this sweater, I'm going to make orange, I think. I could make it yellow, but I think orange. When the tree is going to be green, let's see, do I even have an orange? I could make it pink or purple. Becky sent me some purple and pink. See what I have here. What did I do with what she sent me? It's here someplace. 
I need to sort all my colors out. That's Midnight Blue. Is this what she sent me? No, that's Brushed Metal. Here, Princess Purple. I think this is what Becky sent me. I'm not sure. It's a folk art. I'm not sure if that's what she sent me. Let's make my sweater here purple. Because this is, this is not meant to be pretty sweaters. It's Ugly Sweater Day. It's really kind of a pretty lavender color in a way. Is that what you sent me, Becky? I can't remember. She sent me a pink, too. I know she sent me a purple. And we'll make the sleeves a different color. I hope you're okay, William Shatner. What? Cheryl, what did you say about William Shatner? Angie, there's Angie. Welcome back, Angie. Angie said, before Mary goes off, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Be safe and don't eat too much. <laughs> what was William Shatner comment about, Cheryl? I hope you're okay, William Shatner. Boyfriend reading some headlines in the computer. Oh no, tell us about it, Cheryl. I wanna hear about William. Make your boyfriend tell the story. He was in a car accident. Oh no, no. Go all those miles up into space and get injured in a car accident. Oh, dear. And he's not a spring chicken anymore. Oh, you know, there was a real serious car accident here locally. Uh, one of the local young men. It wasn't in our town. It was in the town where my brother and I go shopping, our grocery shopping. But one of the young men was from here. He had his, they had the funeral here. But him, he was only 18 years old. Him and a young lady, 16 years old. And I don't think, I think they were the victims. I don't think they were the cause of the accident. I'm not sure exactly. They, the paper did not say how the accident happened. But they were in the other car. And it got, it was fully engulfed in flames by the time they couldn't get them out. The first responders, by the time the first responders got there, the car was fully engulfed. So sad. And I guess the family of the young man here was able to identify the young man. The, the young lady, they're having to identify by dental records or whatever. And I think the driver of the other car survived, but they're bringing charges against her the way I understand. Or them. I'm not sure who was driving. I said her. It wasn't. I don't know for sure that it was a her. Okay, we're going to use that Irish moss on my tree. And we'll put red bulbs and gold stars on there. And we'll put red trim, red collar. Let's do the Irish moss. There were no injuries. Oh, that's good to hear. Thank you guys for letting me know. 
Let's get, let's shake this up a little bit more. It's pretty thin. These sweaters need some tinsel, don't they? <laughs> they need some bling. I got a little package of bling from Keisha. I could, I was saving that for something else, though. Maybe I'll see what kind of bling I can get today, too. I'm going shopping. I want to remind you that uh, Anne Lar usually opens her craft room on Thursdays, and you might check out there if you're a member of her Facebook group. Uh, I will probably not be there today because I need to go to the bank. I need to pay my bills. I'm doing an adult day. An adult day. I'm going to have to give this more than one coat. <laughs> Got a little candy cane there. Uh, green in there. And just a teeny bit of green up here. I don't know if I can get it on there. Yeah. There. Let's see if I can. not Let's dry that a little and give it another coat. And this is snow down here. another coat of green and these are not meant to be beautiful paintings this is just play yeah I'm just playing in my art journal I'm doing an ugly sweater page we're doing an ugly sweater page a little bit of green up there. Yeah. That's good. Now let's do the... Shall we do the stars next? I might have to switch to a smaller brush. I think I'll switch to this yeah well no this one is a thicker yellow even though it's get some down in the cap let's use this little brush and paint the stars Yay! Yeah, my last few weeks, it seems like all I've been doing is running. But we had to put drops in my brother's eyes four times a day, and this is the last day that we have to do that. And then it just goes to twice a day. So that helps a little. Let's make these buttons up here gold. And let's put a little gold line up here. Just for the fun of it. And I think I'm going to go back to the red. And do the collar in red. And the cuffs in red.
Yeah, I need a little bit more. And let's do the collar red. Sweaters are looking good. Thank you, Cheryl. Hi, Candy. Mary's arms look young. <laughs> I drink a lot of water, you guys. I run to the bathroom a lot, but I do think, um, I think staying hydrated is important. If you can stand to run to the bathroom a lot, it might, uh, I think, um, uh, I've always had pretty skinny fingers and hands, but I do think staying hydrated is important. But uh, I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm the best at skin care. Um, I have dry skin. My face, my skin on my face is pretty dry. Um, but I do think the more liquid and water you drink, the better off you are. But I do run to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> Just letting you know. <laughs> Probably more than you want to know. I put fringe on this sweater. I got some red fringe hanging down. I was going to make these red, but now I think I'm making them, going to make them yellow. Because I got red around here. Let's give some red bulbs in the tree here. And I'm going to put some red stripes on that candy cane. I'm going to come in with my black pen after this is all dry and outline it again. So I feel like the black helps it stand out. So we'll put some red candy cane on this. That's a little better. Okay. So I guess I'm ready for... I'm just going to paint my lettering out in yellow. What did I do with the cap? I might have to put some... We'll use what I can out of the cap, but I don't think that'll be enough. And I probably should also use this other brush. It's a little better here. And it goes outside of the lines a little. But like I said, I am going to come back with my black. Pen, and that'll help them stand out a little bit better. Maybe I'll make my sweaters in red. My word sweaters, so it doesn't like like uglies, <laughs> ugly sweaters, instead of ugly sweaters I'll make my 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 word sweaters in red and the ugly in yellow 
that's what I'll do. So it'll, color will define the words here. Yeah, blue turned that yellow green. know if I can probably have to dry that Drop that brush in the water. There, that's a little better. All right, let's do the. Let's do the word sweaters. in red and like I said I'll be coming back and outlining this in black so this will stand out a little better I don't know if you can see me do the S down here. And I'm just doing a basic layer of paint. I'm not trying to shadow or do anything fancy. I'm just having fun. Getting the basic, this is snow here in a tree. I'll be outlining that tree. I think both Becky and Rachel said that the ugly sweaters, when they first started wearing them, were meant to be pretty Christmas sweaters. And somehow they went from pretty Christmas sweaters to goofy sweaters. Hi, Dee Dee. She actually says, I went to the grocery store yesterday, but it was so packed I put it off until today. <laughs> Dee Dee, Hobby Lobby. We went to Hobby Lobby. Uh, my brother's appointment was at 1.30. And he was only there for about an hour. And uh, we wanted to go eat. But it was kind of early to go eat. And I wasn't going to go to Hobby Lobby yesterday. I was going to skip it because we were both kind of tired but he said, well, it's kind of early to go eat at 2.30. He was thinking more like 3.30, 4 o'clock. And uh, so I said, well, let's go to Hobby Lobby then. <laughs> and it was packed. And there were a lot of people in there. And I didn't get a whole lot. I bought some Tim Holtz paper dolls. I'm always buying paper dolls. And I always pick up a fine line paint applicator, an empty one. And uh, I got some red felt for my hearts. 
and I bought a couple of dyes. I wanted a, a dye that had a deer on it. And I found one of those. They were on sale. Tim Holtz was on sale. And what was the other dye? I got two dyes. I got the deer. I got something else I can't remember. And that's about all I got. I got some red paper. A pack of red paper. And that was about it. But it was packed in there. I looked on the clearance aisles. I didn't see. Oh, I did buy. No, I just looked at the jewelry. I There were some jewelry bits on sale. The traditions and was it timeline? But I didn't see any I wanted. So I didn't buy any little bling jewelry stuff. I like the charms when they go on sale. They were 50% off, but I didn't see anything that called to me. Well, my brother was standing behind me, too. <laughs> I, I shop better when I don't have anybody standing behind me. He means well, but, you know, I'm not used to that. You'll be able to see it when I get the computer. Thanks, Arlene. Oh, Arlene sent Dee Dee the streamathon schedule. The streamathon schedule is on my community tab and in Fibsville. And I'm going to see if I can't get a hold of Jean, homeschool mama five. She usually puts the streamathon schedule out there on her blog. Um, people who have attended the streamathons in past years, not everybody can get on. Facebook and not everybody well not everybody likes to get on Facebook and not everybody can get on the community tab because of the tablet situation so I really do need to put it out there on on a blog and Jean has done it in the past years so people who have streamed in the past I'll be outlining this letter so I went a little out of bounds there um, no, Jean. And she hasn't been around for a while, but maybe this will get her back. Maybe this will get her back. I'll, I think I have her email address. But, Dee Dee, we were able to fill all of those hours, except for I'm doing one hour. I'm doing one hour in the early morning just to fill in the gap. Let's see if I can't grab a bit of this blue one without washing my brush and put in there. All right. This will all be outlined. It'll make it pop more. So we just have this sweater down here and we're gonna make this bulb a big old red bulb. This is just ugly sweaters here. Ugly sweaters, we're gonna make this red. I might have to get some more out. Got some dark paint on my brush. Let's wash that off. Blue. I do not like a wet brush. Let's put some more red out there. And what color should I make that sweater? I've done green. We could make it yellow or gold. I've done purple. I could make it pink <laughs> or orange. Should we do an orange sweater? And put a green collar on it. I think that would be ugly. <laughs> Well, green and orange are go together, but for a Christmas sweater? No, we're putting a big red bulb on this.
Let's do an orange sweater and give it green trim. So orange, I'm going to mix some red and yellow here. Let's turn my palette around this way. Oops. Get it on my fingers. That's okay. Let's mix some red and yellow and make us an ugly orange color. And we'll need a lot more yellow. I'm going to mix it with my brush. You shouldn't mix paint with your brush, but I do. Oh, that's, well, that's making kind of a coral color. Oh, that's an ugly orange. <laughs> I'll just keep stirring. Might need a little bit more red in there. This is crimson. It's not a red red. Ooh, that is an ugly red. <laughs> I mean, an ugly orange. It needs a little bit more red, I think. It looks tan. It almost looks like a dark peach color. That doesn't look orange at all to me. Yeah. Get that towel away. Let's wipe this off. Better get me another towel. I might need it. Mm. Mary, this link is for your viewing pleasure. Ugly Christmas sweaters. Let me go look at it. It'll take a minute for my tablet to bring it up, Arlene. That's a little better. This is more of a peachy color. Oh, look at those sweaters. <laughs> the beautiful history of the ugly sweater. Oh, that's cool. All right, it's using my cookies. Let's get elfed up, his sweater says. Well, mine aren't that, mine aren't, <laughs> mine aren't as ugly as theirs. <laughs> Mine, I think, are pretty ugly, but I think theirs are uglier. This is an ugly orange. Let me get out of my browser and go back to chat. Thank you, Arlene. I have that in my browser history now, so I will. Let me close it out here. I will. I'll go back and read the history of the ugly sweater. Thank you, Arlene. This is this is kind of a peachy orange. Let's get back into my live here. Oops. Thank you, Arlene. I'm not on my red dot. Where's the red dot? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm mixing paint. Come on, red dot, red dot. There it is. Candy's here. Brenda D is here. Rachel says, a whole lot of ugly sweaters. I love it. Well, I think my sweaters are ugly enough. I've got a whole lot of paint on this brush. You should not mix paints with your brushes, but I do. Let's wipe it off. These are just craft brushes. I buy, I buy them. In, I have to probably buy these in bulk. I'm really hard on brushes. This is kind of a peachy red orange. If I make any more yellow to it, it'll make it tan. I didn't, I did not use a pure red. I used alizarin crimson. 
and it matters what you use to mix it with. Let's Let's paint this out. These are my ugly sweaters. Ugly sweater day in Fibsville. I'm just wearing a green tee this morning. I don't really have any sweaters that I would call ugly like that. I really, I guess I don't buy them. Um, I see them at the thrift store with, you, you know, different decoration stuff on them. I usually don't buy the stuff that has, if I see a lot of pretty stitching on them, I'll buy them. I, I have a sweater that's sitting behind my chair. I don't want to get it out because I'll get paint on it. But if I see pretty stitching on it, I might buy it. Let's paint the the little zigzags in here. And my cuffs are going to be green. It's going to be decorated with green. And that'll be yellow up there. I think I'm good with that. I've got a lot of ugly orange <laughs> left. All right, let's do the green. Shall I do the light green again? Because I got it out here. I got some Irish moss that Lori likes, the Irish moss. I got some left on my table. Might have to get out some more. And I am going to go back in with my pen. So a lot of this where the black is fading in to the page, I'll bring that back out again. I like to outline in black. Art teachers never really liked to outline in black. They they kept saying, you don't see, in real life, you don't see things outlined in black. And they're tr that's the truth, you don't. Like if you're wearing a sweater... You know, there's no black outline along your sweater that you're wearing in real life. There's no black outline along your hands. That's the truth. But when I do a painting or something like this, I feel like I need black to make it pop out for some reason. And they never liked me putting black outlines on my art. So I do it all the time now. I don't have to answer to them anymore. And they they didn't they didn't train me good enough to get rid of black lines. I failed at getting rid of black lines. I do it out of rebellion, I think. I have to rebel somehow. If it's black lines on my art, so be it. Mary's just talking away. This is a cuff down here. All right. I need to get back to my Fibsville stories. My little gnome, she's a Fibsville story. Fussy Buttons, we left them at thanks. We didn't even do their Thanksgiving. We we did a Fussy Buttons recipe book. And I can't find that. It must have fallen down here behind my cart. I need to dig that out. All right. A little bit of gold on that ornament. And I think I'll be ready to give it a heat gun and some black outlines <laughs> let's paint this right here I'm running out of paint in my cap there we go 
I think those sweaters qualify for ugly. I think they made the ugly category. And I know I should save this paint. So I wonder if I can get to my dictionary. Let's put these away. Get them off of my desk to give me desk room. <sighs> Purple, yellow, yellow. Greens and bimini blues. Find a space for them in here. Alrighty. And let's do another swish of my brushes in the water here. I think they're pretty clean. This one I didn't use too much. And this little one I did. Okay, I'm good with those. And let's see. Let's see if I can swish this paint. I don't really want to... I don't want to throw it away. I'm going to have my dictionary out here someplace. Oh, it's over there. Let me reach for it. Let me reach for my dictionary. Now I got it. It's behind the box. And I think I can just put it here and switch to an open page. Oh, look, I opened right up to one. And we'll just plop this paint down on there. be putting more on here this is just this is just conserving it <laughs> just so I don't waste it we'll be putting paint over that a layer over it I can see white going over that all right let me put this aside and let it dry that orange really isn't too bad once I see it up close where am I going to put it? Over here. Yeah. Okay. Hold the phone. I dropped my gloves out of the rack here. Okay. Now what I want to do, I think, let's hit this with a heat gun. It might be a little wet down in here. Heat gun alert! We're going to outline these in black because I want to. That Bimini Blue is kind of pretty. I like this. It's called Bimini Blue. It's a, it's a apple barrel paint, isn't it? Apple barrel, I think. I get it at Walmart. Boy, my bag needs to be my trash bag needs to be emptied. Okay, let's let's see if I can do some outlining on this. And yeah, your paint should be thoroughly dry when you do this. You should probably let it sit overnight, but I'm too impatient. You can ruin brushes, but I get these Pen Plus gears. They're still pretty cheap at Walmart. And they work pretty good over craft paint. They work pretty good over craft paint. Let's drop the star. And outline that. Okay. 
And actually, let's bring that out a little bit more just to cover that. And the tree and this star. I'm going to go read the history of ugly sweaters. Arlene dropped a link. And this is a candy cane stuck in a snowdrift. <laughs> it's a purple sweater with red trim. Red tassels. Whoops, well, we'll just go ahead and make that a big old tassel there. I'm okay with that. Now let's do this sleeve. I do think that when I do the black lines around here, that it does make it look like coloring book. Like, you know, uh, coloring books have a lot of big black lines. I will agree with that, but I like how the black lines make these pop. All right, let's do the word ugly. Mm, there's the Y. And the L. And the G. I kind of lost the leg up there, or the serif up there. So I painted it in, but it blended with the blue and made it a little green, but that's okay. And the G. And the U. So what am I missing in chat? Did I miss anything important? I... I missed Barb Owen when she came in the other day. I did see Dee Dee come in this morning. Did I miss anybody that I wanted to see in chat? Angie said she's making hot green tea. Ar Arlene, a whole site for ugly sweaters. <laughs> oh, we're still, I'm still a top chat. Lizzie, have you guys chatted since then? Oh, yeah, you have. My chat froze. Hi, Deb Farrell. Good morning, Deb. Rachel says she loves uh, Angie's imagination. Tamarie is in here. Hi, Tamarie. I'm sure I'm pronouncing your, wrong, your name wrong. Ta Tamari, T-A-M-A-R-I-E. Bit good. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Rachel says, Deb, back to the drawing board. De Dee Dee says, uncrank. Good one. Rachel says, Candy, I just read your comment about your husband in the parking lot. Maybe he scares them off with fierce stares. My mother used to engage them in window conversations. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, it must be. Deb says, I'm starting out cranky this morning because my well-laid plans for the day have been changed by others. So trying to uncrank. <laughs> uh, 
Deb, sing a Christmas carol. Sing Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse. Open sleigh. I hope I don't get in trouble for singing Jingle Bells. I think I got in trouble for playing it in the background once. I don't know if the lyrics are copyrighted. What is another Christmas song that we can sing that puts Deb in a good mood? Deck the halls with bells of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Deb, tis the season to be jolly. Tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> I've tried to put Deb in a good mood. Fa la 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 la. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I like, oh, bring us some figgy pudding. Oh, bring us some figgy pudding. Bring us some figgy pudding and bring it right here. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring it right here. I don't know many Christmas carols. Rachel says, you get your wish this year. I got you one. Oh, there's Deb. She's got the music notes out. Deb has a beautiful voice, I'll bet you. Deb used to sing in a choir, didn't you, Deb? And didn't your choir sing in a, a special... Am I imagining that you told us that? I think Deb used to sing in a in a choir. Deb is a very talented person for those that you want to know, Deb. Janet says, oh, well, I just got back and you're all still here. I could sing that for you, Barbara. What did Barbara say? Uh, Barbara says, Angie, vivid imagination... Rachel says, hello, Dee Dee. I think we missed a few topics, but the flavored coffee will have to wait until next time. No flavored coffee for me this morning. I didn't get up in time to make coffee. I didn't even get up in time to make tea. So I have water this morning, and it's about all gone. It's ugly sweater day today in Fibsville, December 23rd. Was there, uh, on that history of ugly sweaters, Arlene, was there a specific day for ugly sweater day? Do you guys know if there's a specific day that's designated Ugly Sweater Day? I'd like to know that. I could go read it, but I want to finish outlining. <laughs> this is pretty basic flat page. I mean, I didn't try to put a lot of shading and all that. I barely got my color in. <laughs> this this needs a little... A little shine mark here. I'll put a piece of, put some white on there after I get done. Oh, maybe we need some white snowballs on this page. I'll get out my whiteout pen. <coughs> I'm leaving at 9 o'clock, which is 10 minutes from now, so I better hurry. And Ann Lar usually opens her craft and chat room. I don't know. I haven't seen if she's going to open it this morning. Let me go down to the bottom of chat. It didn't say that there was a specific day. I guess you declare your own day. Well, 
I guess we will declare, today is the 23rd, we will declare December 23rd as Ugly Sweater Day in Fibsville. And you know what? We could do a little gnome. We could do a ruby rose gnome with an ugly sweater. Wouldn't that be fun? I can't do it today because I just thought of it and I've only got 10 minutes left here. This is the back of a sweater because I got the elbow patches on it. <laughs> but it's got a big old round neck here, round collar. I could never wear these round collars. I never liked them. I never liked the sweaters or anything with those big collars. As big as they were, you wouldn't think that you'd feel like they were choking you. But I always felt like they were choking me. I never liked them. All right. Then in here, I want some knit lines in here. So, December 23rd, we're going to call it Ugly Sweater Day in Fibsville. Unless somebody can find if there's a, uh, a special day for ugly sweaters. All right. Let's see if I can find a white pin that works. Sometimes I have to shaky, shaky, shake. on this come on oh. that one's not gonna work i think i had trouble with this the last time i got these out I think I went to my fine liner, which happens to be right here. So we're going to use the fine liner instead. Let's do a, a bling mark here. A little shine mark, a shiny mark. And then we're just going to put some dots around here in the background, maybe. Just to arts it up. Pull my sleeve up here. So, I'm getting ready to leave here in a minute or two. Let me finish this. Um, tomorrow is... Tomorrow is... Friday? It's tomorrow's the 24th, isn't it? So I will be streaming for at Christmas Eve. Mary, Aunt Beck found the sweater day. It's above. Oh, Becky found it? Let's see. Becky said, I guess no one. She asked if there was a national day for it, and I looked it up. You go ahead and rock them all the way you want, Arlene. Let's see. Becky, what was it? Mary, see my post above? I just hung the collages of my three cats in the den along with their photos. It only took a year. When is National Ugly Sweater Day? Becky said, National Ugly Sweater Day officially takes place the third Friday in December. <coughs> is this the third Friday or the fourth Friday? Somebody tell me. I don't want to look at the calendar right now. I want to finish my page we might be off by a week because i didn't know but we'll go by the third friday because i stream on fridays was the third friday last week 
Well, at any rate, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And I will be streaming tomorrow night. Don't forget our time for, or not our time for, our, our fourth Saturday video hop is taking place on Saturday morning. I will come online Saturday morning at 4.30 to introduce and probably do a, a project. But Saturday is Christmas. So if you have some time and are bored on Christmas, I'm going to outline this in white. If you're bored on Christmas, come and watch our video hop. It's a, it's got a winter a winter theme. You can do they can do Christmas or winter, whatever they want to do. Um, I got to get the links out there for them. I got to put the links out there. They're waiting for me to put the links out. Mary's. Well, I was actually waiting for one, but I didn't have time last night. I was kind of tired when I got home. And I was working on the... I'm going to leave it like that. I was working on the New Year's Streamathon. So it is 8.57... I got three minutes to come out and say goodbye to everybody. Let me put this this way. And go back down the bottom of chat. Thank you for looking that up, Becky. The third Friday in December, National Ugly Sweater Day. Well, <clears throat> I'm putting it on day 23 in my journal, but I might document that it's the third Friday when I get to doing my documentation in here. Happy Christmas to you, Janet. Cheryl says, everyone have a great day. Janet Nash says, Angie Brown, love you loads. Angie, good to see you. Rachel says, Merry Christmas to you and yours. Agbeth says, the 17th was, okay, the third Friday. Thank you, Becky. Mary, your page has gone from ugly to pretty. <laughs> oh, Rachel, that's silly. Barbara Chicken Pot Pie said, I just received notification from our snow removal service that they will begin clearing snow after 10 a.m. this morning. Lots and lots of snow where Barbara is. All right, everybody. Have a, have a really good December 23rd. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve day. And I will see you tomorrow night at 5.30. I think Beth Schuler, I think uh, Tanya will be on this afternoon, on Thursday afternoon. And Laura, don't forget, she uh, uh, might be opening her room in, uh, Fibs, in, uh, in her group. And let's see, and Beth Schuler. Usually comes on Thursday nights around 6 p.m. Eastern. Happy holidays for everybody. Go out and make it, make, have a good day. And quoting Rachel, make it a good day. Make it a memory. Bye.